morning, you guys. Um, I know I haven't been on here in a couple of days. I'm sorry. Um, I've had some sh stuff going on. Um, but I want to talk to you because uh, I don't always say everything that I know that I should. Um, I am of the Christian faith, which means that I believe in Jesus. I believe he was here. Um, so I want to tell you that you are loved and worthy because of him. And I hope that um, this message finds you. I know that there are situations that you cannot, um, you may, may live in a bad situation and I know that you can't control that. And sometimes it's hard to find him because you think, well, if, if he's real, then why am I going through all this stuff? You need to know that sin has entered into the world and that he gives everyone free will, which means that if there's so many people that don't believe anything that has happened in the Bible. They don't believe anything that has even happened in history ever. Um, and there's so much stuff nowadays that, that bombards people that, um, having faith or belief in anything other than what they can do with their own hands, um, is just the way it is. Um, they just, they don't believe in anything because they feel like they've been let down by everything. Um, God hasn't saved me from um, being raped and God hasn't saved me from um, family members dying and, and God hasn't saved me from these things. Um, first of all, everything everything that has happened has happened for whatever reason. Um, we have to use the things that have happened to us for good and not evil. Um, that That's what we're being asked to do. Um, there's a, a lady in history that the more I learn about her, the more I, um, I appreciate her. Um, she made the comment, um, Princess Diana, um, she made the comment that, you know, she, and I think she was very tortured, honestly. I don't, I don't think she ever really got, um, what she wanted, in life. I, I don't, I think she made some wrong choices for whatever reason. Um, maybe in the wrong man thinking that she would have love, eternal love with him and it didn't happen. And I, I don't know what all the reasoning was behind that, but she made the comment that, um, she not, not necessarily could love people for a lifetime, but she could love them for a moment when she's with them, or she could love them for the week that she saw them, or she could love them for the second, you know? So she hugged a lot of people and she talked to a lot of people and she tried to be, um, a positive, positive role model, model, somebody that they could feel that somebody cared about them. And that is what we're called as Christians to do. Um, we can't, we cannot um, stop some of the things that other people do because God has given us our own will, which means that he's not going to force you or force me to be a certain way. We have choices. Um, we can choose, even at this late state in, in our lives, we can choose to turn things around. We can choose to be good to the people that are in our lives. We can choose to be good to everybody that we meet. Um, and if we kind of take her philosophy with that and say, well, you know, I won't know this person next week. I won't see this person next week, but you're seeing them right now. Um, you're in the laundromat with them right now, you know, and everything is quiet and nobody wants to talk. Um, say hi to them, ask them how they're doing, you know, start up a conversation, let them know that there's somebody that cares. I mean, um, that's the biggest thing, you know, love entered into the world, sin enter, entered into the world. They fight for one, for, for, you know, power all the time. We've been given, given the will. That means we've been given a choice. God's not forcing you to be a certain way. He gives you a choice to use what you've learned or what has happened to you in a good way. If you've been molested, if you were a drug dealer at one time, come in and do good now. 
you know, teach people how to recognize that this is going on in their neighborhood. Try to get away from that. Try to, you know, do something different. Take your knowledge that you know and use it. Use it to help people that don't know. That's that's what we're supposed to do. Um, you know, if you if you cook but you're not a chef, start something weekly. Put it in the paper, you know, or um go to a church and say, Hey, you know, I, I want to make spaghetti dinner a week, once a week, and I'll feed whoever comes to my house, you know, until we're out of pizza, uh, pizza or till we're out of spaghetti or till we're out of chili or whatever it is you cook. If you have that ability, you know, there's little things you can do right where you are for the people that are right there with you in the carpool or on the bus or right next to you in the locker or whatever, wherever you are in a jail cell. If you're in the jail cell, you messed up. You made mistakes. You're in the jail cell. You don't have to stay the way you are. There's circumstances that you're not going to be able to change. And I understand that you're, you're going to have to try to, um, you know, survive through that. I get that. But you can change the things that you did that got you there. You can use that knowledge. You can survive until you get out and you can use that knowledge when you get out to help other people. Um, you know, there's so many circumstances. We've got to take the junk that the devil has used that the sin in this world has used, that that somebody else's decisions has done to us and other people. And we have to use the knowledge that we have, take our good heart and say, God, I can't change what they did. I can't. And, and just say that. I can't change what they did. I can't change who they are. I can't change if they change. But I can change me. You know? I can be the love for somebody else in this situation. You know, I can be the spokesman. I can say, give them a hug and say, well, how are you doing today? You know, help that old lady across the street. Whatever it is, you know what is needed. You can look around and see what's needed where you are. Where you are. You've got a good heart. You're a good person. I know that. You messed up. We all mess up. There's not a one of us out here on this planet that is walking, that is alive, that is breathing. And there are none in the ground that have not messed up. They've, we've all come short of the grace of God. That means we've all messed up. We don't deserve his grace. But what grace means is the things that I was meant to have, God isn't giving me. I am meant to be in the grave. I am meant to be dead. I am meant to be gone because of the things I've done however what do I do now knowing that he will give me the grace what can you do who can you be who can you help be that person I love you I know that you are loved and you are worthy and if I haven't said it to you enough or if I haven't made you feel that enough I want you to know that you are loved and you are worthy because you are a child of God. Just the way you are. Take your knowledge and help someone else.